What's up everyone? It's Steve again from RC Tanks and Trucks 24-7. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There's heaps of cool stuff just like this. Now here is part four, I believe, for the Sen Racing FS L200 four-stroke nitro motor. Now that's a originally came out, it's a Ford F450 and originally came out brushed, it's kind of like a crawler but I've changed it to what you see here, yes, and everything is pretty much done. I was contemplating what exhaust to use, and yes, these are pretty massive, but they do look pretty damn sweet. I wanted to kind of replicate the stacker look, you know, the big ass exhaust coming out the back of the truck, really exacerbated uh, look, but hey, it looks pretty cool, doesn't blow uh, all that... Uh, you know, rolling coal like you see, but it does look cool on the truck and I'm pretty happy with it. So, quickly go through what I've done. Um, everything is sorted, situated where I wanted to go. I think it looks really neat. It's what I wanted to accomplish. Didn't want to have all wires and servos and stuff just laying around everywhere. Wanted to try to have it neatly as possible. So, motor, gearbox, everyone asks what gearbox this is. It's a Reba 3.3 transmission, two speeds forwards, two speeds reverse, and it has a brake as well. Fuel tank, there's a throttle and brake servo underneath here. You have your, well, there's your igniters. You have one igniter for one of the glow plugs, and then one of the glow plug is an igniter and a brushless ESC in one for the brushless starter motor just there. There is your servo to put in, in forward and reverse. And yes, I have a servo that uh, actuates a little button just here, and um, because I'm just getting some um, electronic switches at the moment, I do not have any. So I've just done this old school technique and it just kind of pushes down, actuates a button and it comes back up. Pretty cool. Your power for your uh, servos is just here and your power for your glow plug and all that kind of stuff is just there. It's a LiPo battery that can run up to 3S, that uh, little starter motor, which is what it is recommended. On the side here you have a little oil return, a little catch can. It runs from the front of the motor just here and that is because it is four stroke but it is nitro, so the oil is in the fuel. So once the fuel burns, the oil comes down, lubricates all the moving parts, pushes that all the way to this little catch can, and that's it, ready to rock and roll. Now, like I said, on this side, I'll flip it around. Stacker exhaust. This is silicon tubing, high temp, so I thought, you know, I'll give it a try. It should work, you know, pretty well. They do, can take a lot of heat. Just comes off the manifold here, straight down, kind of made it neat as possible, straight back around and just up underneath these two silencers. Now these parts, along with everything here, I'll leave links in the description if you want to go check it out. But, you know, fabricated, it's a little bit of uh, L-channel, and then also some Kano parts. <laughs> I've been using them here as well, because there's a lot of um, L-channels, and they've got pre-drilled holes and stuff like that. And that is just drilled into, or not, I actually used one of the many holes here on the side of the chassis, and kind of made it fit. So far, so good. So in this video, I want to show you how it starts and runs. How long it looks pretty cool. Oh, also, because I've had to put the motor there, the body posts are up here. So I've moved them down to the front. They're inwards like that, so it kind of pinches uh, when the body's on, so it gets a bit tighter fit. So that is on purpose, but it does look pretty damn cool. Now, the body just goes on like any normal body. And once the body's on, I think those stackers look pretty damn cool. Now the front here, it's quite easy. You just got to line up the holes. And, uh, you know, everything works out really good. Once this goes down, look at that. Sits on there perfectly. <laughs> How mad does that look? And I actually quite like the kind of comical look of these big stacks. I think it looks pretty cool. Works out quite well, in my opinion. I was a bit sceptical having them there because, you know, when you're... The smoke comes out, a bit of oil might uh, get thrown all over the back of the car. But, you know, whatever. I don't mind it. It looks pretty damn cool. You reckon from the back there, huh? <laughs> looks sweet. Now, hopefully the guys at Senna have seen this because I think it's pretty damn cool. Something different. Next, I want to is lock the rear differential. It's only two-wheel drive because I didn't want... I want to kind of do maybe burnout machine type of thing. But uh, I wouldn't mind locking the rear diff. And it's not like a normal enclosed diff. The gears are exposed once you open up the diff uh, housing, so it's kind of weird. So I want to maybe get a, a locked section for that and see how it goes. But, enough yapping. What I reckon we'll do, let's do a first quick uh, fire up of this. 
so I can show you how it sounds and see how it looks. Okay, now I've just started for the first time without the body shock and show you. Very easy to start running 20% nitro at the moment. So all it is, everything is, how I like to do it is everything on the transmitter. Push this button. There we go. Smokes the hacks are working. Set on camera, but there we go. Definitely much quieter than the Land Rover. They change second. Goes much quicker. This is why I want to. This is why I want to lock diff. <laughs> <laughs> but it does, um, I think it spins the tyres off the mark. <laughs> Try that again. Let's put the body on. Oh, run, oh, run out of fuel, look at that. <laughs> run out of fuel. So let me put the body on, get another tank in, and I'll show you how it looks. Alright, the body's on for the first time with the running. As you can see, I've cut the hood out as well. I'm not sure if I showed you that before, but it looks pretty damn cool. So let's give it a test. <laughs> Look at the smokestacks. <laughs> oh man, looks cool, huh? Hey, uh, yes, electric motors, yeah, they might be better, but they're not as cool as this. I don't think this has been done before. You can see the smokestacks too, though. <laughs> we, we could do it this way, you can see them. Brakes work well too. <laughs> spinning but no worries you can hear the tires spinning actually Oop. I'll put it in reverse because it does have reverse there we go go back in forward should be good to go Definitely gets going, that's for sure. Imagine with a locked diff, you get that rear end out, I reckon. Now that's just, I can change the gearing, obviously. It is just uh, first run. Let's see how it looks down the road. to adjust the uh, a lot of things first test don't leave it on the road there but as they get run in they run a lot better this is only about the fourth tank so once you run it in a little bit you've got to change the auto screw you know, because it gets a little bit rich, so you know, put the auto screw up and all that kind of cool stuff. But it should run a lot better eventually after it gets run in. But I think it looks pretty damn cool. What do you guys think of the stacks? Did I do, did I do the right thing? I was going to put them out in front of the tyres, like the smaller ones. Yeah, the idle is running too low. Pretty cool, huh? Maybe even out of fuel. This thing sucks fuel like no tomorrow. <laughs> no, it's still a little bit of fuel left. I think just the idle screw needs to be put up. You 
you know, electric motor, the petrol motors, you know, they're always fine tuning. I do like the stack, the stack side. They look good. In the dark, you can see the, the fumes coming up. <laughs> I think it's out of fuel now. What do you guys reckon? Just wanted to show you a quick video of it running. Don't worry about doing more. I'll get it running in a lot better and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I think it's the fourth or fifth tank now, so I'll lend it out a little bit. And it's always, you know, we're going to deal with nitro motors, depending on the weather even. But uh, pretty damn cool. Let me know what you guys think and uh, leave your comments down below. Cheers, guys.